Hello, it's Miss Dexter again. And today I'm going to share with you the life cycle of a butterfly. I'll read you a story about the life cycle of a butterfly, and then we're going to do a guided art lesson on how to draw a butterfly. I hope you enjoy today's lesson. The title of the book is The Butterfly Life Cycle. This book is by Torin Anderson. Torin Anderson is the author of the book. This book does not have an illustrator because as you'll notice as we go through the story, these are actual photographs taken by someone. You're looking at the front cover of the book. We'll begin reading the book. The Butterfly Life Cycle by Torin Anderson. The focus question what is the life cycle of a monarch butterfly? The life cycle of the monarch butterfly has four stages of its life cycle. The female monarch butterfly lays the eggs on a leaf. A caterpillar grows inside the tiny egg. The egg hatches in 3 to 12 days. The hungry caterpillar eats all the time. The first the caterpillar eats its own eggshell. Then the caterpillar eats the leaves it's, it is on. The caterpillar grows quickly. Its skin does not grow. The caterpillar skin splits and peels away. Do you know the monarch butterfly only eats the leaves of the milkweed plant? New skin is under the old skin. The caterpillar sheds its skin four to six times. The caterpillar grows two to four weeks. When the caterpillar is grown, it hangs from the branch. It sheds its skin one last time. The new skin is brown, bright green. The green skin becomes hard. The caterpillar is now a pupa. It will stay inside its shell for two weeks. an adult butterfly. The pupa becomes out of its shell and it is now a butterfly. The wings are wet. The new butterfly rests. The butterfly must hang upside down or it will not be able to fly. The new butterfly hangs for three to four hours the sun and the air will dry its wings. Then the butterfly is able to fly. It flies off to eat. It also searches for a mate. The monarch butterfly may only live for two to six weeks. The female monarch butterfly will lay her eggs. The butterfly life cycle starts again. Let's review the, the four stages of the butterfly. You have the egg, the caterpillar lays the egg on the leaf. From the egg, a caterpillar will hatch. The caterpillar will go through many layers of its skin before it has grown and it creates a pupa or a chrysalis. A chrysalis and pupa are the, have the same meaning. Sometimes you might hear the word cocoon, but a cocoon is for a moth. Butterflies make chrysalis. And pupa and chrysalis mean the same thing. The next stage is the butterfly. The butterfly will lay the eggs. The eggs will hatch. The 
caterpillar will come out of the eggs, the caterpillar will eat and grow, then he will create his pupa or his chrysalis, and then a butterfly will come out. And that cycle continues over and over again. And that is the life cycle of a butterfly. For this part of the lesson, we'll be doing art integration on a guided how to draw a butterfly. Pause the video and go get a piece of paper and a pencil that you'll use to do this part of your lesson. All right, so we're going to do our butterfly guided drawing. We're going to begin by drawing a circle. We're going to draw a circle kind of toward the top in the middle of our paper. So I'm just going to show you how she did, does it. Let's just draw a circle. Next, we're going to do the body of the butterfly. It kind of looks like a teardrop at the, underneath the head. It's going to go under the head. Let's actually show you how she does it. Let's draw. It doesn't have to be perfect. Miss Dexter is definitely not an artist. Okay, the third step, we're going to put a face on our butterfly and just some lines on his body. So just put a face. We're going to make our butterfly nice and happy. And then just put some lines on his body. Just kind of decorating. Okay. And now we're going to do the wings. The wings kind of look like hearts on the side. Miss Dexter said she is not an artist, so it doesn't matter what they look like. Just do the best you can. Now we're going to put another wing underneath the first wings we drew. Okay. The next, we're going to give him some antennas. The antennas go on the top of his head. going to decorate him. You can decorate him however you want to. Let's do some, you can do some circles and some lines. Do some ovals. Some more lines. You can do some, some more circles and ovals. Decorate him however you want. Okay. You can add some more lines in on him like this. Bring his lines on in. However you want to do him. Now that you've finished your butterfly, you can decorate your butterfly however you want. Coloring whatever colors you decide. You're the artist, and you're going to make your butterfly however you want. I've so enjoyed today with you and spending some time and helping you learn about the four stages of a butterfly. I miss all my friends and hope to see you all soon. Have a wonderful day.